Hi everyone, welcome along to today's video. Why does it seem that everything's broken today? Nothing works, is it? Do you find that? It does to me. It seems like everything we try and do, there's a problem with it, or something's wrong, or we can't get through to something. Something's always happening uh, that is broken, that should be working. I'll give just a couple of examples. I mean, we got the usual letter for it to say our bin tax was running out. They call it a subscription service, it's a bin tax. And yeah, we want it renewed, we don't want to cut that stuff to tip every time, do you? So you pay the money, but anyway, I said you could pay it online, there's the number. Just put this number in on your bit of paper to come through on, and it will renew, you can do it online. So we do it online. That's going to be easier, isn't it? <laughs> no. <laughs> no, as soon as you speak the word computer, uh, that's a disaster. Anyway, on we go and put all the details in, put in the debit card numbers and press the button. The usual little thing that goes around in a funny little circle like this that means nothing is going to happen. You can look at that little circle, it's quite hypnotic really because you kind of <laughs> and it goes on and it goes on and after about five minutes you think that's not working. So you click it off. I'll give it another go later on. Come back later on, a couple of hours later, try it again. Same thing. Not working. So then a mail popped up, literally shortly after, to say, how did you rate our service? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, you couldn't believe it, could you? So I thought, I will rate their service. I just put, it didn't flip in work. And an email come back later on after that to say, so you can get through, we have a problem with our computers at the moment. Well, I'll be blowed. But you can use the number below to renew your subscription service. I thought, no, not your Nelly. Not ringing any phone numbers. We know where they go to. Every phone number takes about an hour to get through just to qualify who you are before you can get anywhere. Are you this person? The amount of security protocols has got ridiculous. But anyway, so that, that was just that. That's just one thing. We went last week from here down in Devon up to Kent and travelled by car, what a mistake, you know, it took seven hours to get up there, I mean that is just ridiculous and there was no accidents on the road, no, it was sheer roadworks, pop-up roadworks here, roadworks there, the M3 has got about 50 mile stretch of just 30 miles an hour, that's all you can do. Uh, they're supposed to be updating the motorway and all this, but it's been going on for ages. There was roadworks everywhere, even on the last bit of the journey, the Thanet Way to, into Margate, which is where it was headed, was, was down with roadworks. It was just quite incredible. I thought it was when we got there, I thought seven hours that took, it was worn out. And I thought, you know, I'm, I'm sure you can get to New York by plane from here to, in seven hours. <laughs> we can't even get across our own country. But this is a result of now too many cars on the road and an infrastructure that can't take it. The roads are getting worn out before they get a chance to repair them again. There's too much traffic. It's just incredulous. So, you know, you kind of think, well, you know, this, the world today, I don't I fancy going by train much because they're just as much a headache if you can afford them uh, because they have different problems again which I won't go into we all know what they are <laughs> okay so let's move on then and last thing i am probably not to bore you with any more honest <laughs> was I had an offer for fibre to be put into our property this was last August and they were doing the road outside laying the pipes in and they said uh, we can connect you up to fibre if you want and do away with the slow network you've got and which I was using broadband very very slow I thought yes I'll have that because with my obviously work on YouTube and stuff it would help me greatly to be able to get those videos done and uploaded very quickly so yeah I said yes I'll have it so they said great and um, they said we'll, we'll be starting the work um, to get you connected through. I said, okay. So, I never heard no more until about January. <laughs> I didn't pursue it. I, I, I knew this. Anyway, I suddenly got an email saying, congratulations, we are coming to connect your fibre oh, to your property. I thought, oh, great. So, 
Out of the blue, a team of guys turned up on a lorry, obviously contractors, and looked down at the point where there's a strip of pavement being took up where they laid the pipe in the road. They laid that way back last year. And uh, they sort of scratching their faces and like this. Looking I went down to see him. I said, uh, so what's the problem? You haven't got a Toby box. I went, a Toby box. It's nothing to do with Toby jugs, is it? You know, no, 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 it's the Toby box. I said, all right. Said, That's to connect from the road into your property. I said, all right, okay. Now we'll have to leave it. So they went and I didn't hear anything for a month or two again. And then suddenly, good news, two emails, both together, we are connecting your service. <laughs> so, again, team of blokes turned up, looked at it, you haven't got a Toby box. I said, I oh, know I haven't got a Toby box, but, you know, you guys should know this, but these were a different set of contractors. So they disappeared, and that took us to April, and once again, I've got an email pop up, good news, you will be connected tomorrow. And once again, a team turned up and said, hmm. I don't think you need a Toby box, I think we can wire it straight in. We'll dig a bit of the road up and the path. So they dug a bit up round outside my property, made a little T junction in there, and said, That's it now, it could be connected without a Toby box. I said, Oh, great, that's fantastic. Uh, didn't hear nothing for another week. And then, Congratulations, well, you'll be connected next week. Fantastic. A team turned up, they looked at it and said, You've got no Toby box. I said, Ah, the guys that come before you said, I don't need one. I could get it straight on from that little T-junction they put in there. And he went, no, nah, no, nah, you've got to have a box. I said, so that's it. They disappeared. And a week later, another congratulations, you'll be connected. That's good. That's great. And another team turned up and they said, we'll come to fit a Toby box. I went, oh, yes, this could be it. So he dug around and... They fit the Toby box in, but then said, we can't really do too much more. We'll fill you in for now, but we've got to come back. I said, why? He said, well, they never run any wires through the main pipe, through the street. So all I did was lay a pipe, but didn't put the wires through. And I knew I hadn't seen a big cable drum of wires going down the road, so I did expect this to be the problem, which it obviously was. So I thought, ah, so we send another team back to lay the wires. And a week later, another team came back. And we're nearly where we are now in time, <laughs> getting on to July. And um, they laid the wires in and finally connected the Toby box to the wires. And that's the last I've heard of it, actually, uh, until today, when I've still heard absolutely nothing. So it's taken from June, well, no, it must have been July of last year, which is now year, uh, to now, to still not be connected. Now, how can it go so wrong? How can there be so much chaos? And a big firm like Jurassic Fibre, how can it go so completely and utterly wrong? I'm not condemning it. I'm not in a rush to get it connected. I've still got my broadband still working. The only thing is I'm out of contract now, so I'm paying a lot more for it. But I don't want to renew it because I've got to take out an 18-month contract and I'll have to pay the fines if I want to get rid of it and change over. So I'm actually paying a bit more for my existing service because Jurassic still haven't come and done it. So we decide I'll give it another couple of months and call it a day, I think. But how can it be so fragmented? And this is the world today, isn't it? Seems like nothing you do or go about doing works properly. The information doesn't reach this system to reach this system to reach these people or that people. It must be bad mismanagement. It's got to be. It can't be anything else. But there we are. Just thought I'd go for my little things that are going on with me. I'm sure you've got a lot of things going on for you as well. And you're finding the world just such an irritating place today that nothing is actually working properly. Nothing is just getting done and being done properly. You know, and, and that just seems to be the way it is. Anyway, there we are, just my little take on things. I hope you've enjoyed my little stories. <laughs> and they're all true. <laughs> so that's about it. Anyway, have a great day and catch you next time, guys. Bye-bye.